Not a step farther. State your business. Only the faithful are permitted within. Don't you recognize me? I've come for an audience with your high priest. I don't much care for your tone. Steady there. That's Denim of Goliath you're talking to. Uh, what? I am unarmed. I mean no ill will. I'll be the judge of that. How do I know you don't have a half dozen soldiers with you? Leave off. Sir Denim isn't the sort to lie to us. Eh, I knew you were always there, man. A grave insult. Enough! Sheath your swords! You too. I am Olivia, a Sybil of the Order here. You wish to meet with our leader, Abuna Pranset? Come this way. What did you say? Abuna Pranset? Yes. Your father is here. I don't understand. Please, we must hurry. There isn't much time. What do you mean? The Great Father Falaha calls him to his side. I'm sorry, Denim. What? When we discovered him in the Corpse Vale near Heim, he lacked even the strength to stand. What place is this Vale? It is a small cavern where those afflicted with incurable disease or plague are kept. Plague. We did all that we could to save him, but his condition only worsens. The Dark Knights had a hand in this, didn't they? He was tortured, yes. And we to quaff a vile draft meant to loosen the lips. And the mind. Father. Let us go. Father, it is I, Denim. Ah, Denim. You've come at last. There is something I must tell you. It's about my sister, isn't it? Kashua is not your sister. As you know, she is the last remnant of Dorgalua's line. The Princess Versalia Oberith. Kashua's mother was one of the Queen's handmaidens. A girl named Mana Flora. You want to speak with me? What of? I was hoping, Your Highness, that that I might be granted a short leave. I am dismayed. Do you not know you're the only one in this castle to whom I can confide my heart, Manaflora? The more your betrayal cuts to the quick, did you think me blind? <laughs> Forgive me! I should have known that a king risen from the peasantry would prefer a simple country girl. You're forgiven as I beg you. 
Forgive you? I might as soon strangle you, you... You will serve me for the rest of your days, Malaflora. Do you understand? My slave till you die. Wait. Surely you are not with child. She gave birth to Kashua not long after departing the castle. How is Manaflora? Ah, oh, I feared as much. The strain was too much for her delicate heart to bear. So, that is Vesalia. Is that to be her name? Vesalia? It was His Highness's wish to have his daughter named so. I heard it from his very lips. We should tell him. You will want to know. Have you not heard? Queen Vernata will bear her own child a month hence. No. It is best that only you and I know of this. Then... What should I do with the child? Keep her. You lost a child recently. Kashua, was it? Raise this one in her stead. As my own flesh and blood? Yes, for her sake, and the good of Valeria. But how? I am sure you will find a way. Ah, I have something for you. Take these necklaces. They should fetch a good price. What? Where are these from? They were a gift from His Highness to celebrate the birth of his child. He intended that the blue be given to a prince, the red to a princess. But I could not sell these. You will need money if you're to raise a child, and a princess besides. You and I both grew up commons. You know what it is to need, what we must do. Give it no more thought, Prancet. This is the only way. But Branton deceived me. He used his knowledge of Maniflora and the girl to advance his position within the church. <sighs> I heard Denham when the king passed away. Had I only offered up Kashua then, this war might never have come to pass. But I couldn't let her go when I heard her call me father. I could not take that away from her or her from me. I had no idea. The Dark Knights have searched long and hard for Kashua, but not to make her sovereign of Valyria. They pursue another purpose. Y you know this purpose? Yes. Her crowning ceremony was for show. They don't want her upon a throne. They want King Dog Galloa's legacy. What legacy? Some sort of artifact? I do not know what it is. Only that it rests with the King. Now that they have Kashua, they seek the tomb. And my sister knows where it is? 
No, she knows nothing. Yet her role is vital. Only one who shares the Dynast King's blood can undo the seal upon the tomb. They're using her. Yes. And when she has fulfilled her purpose, they'll... <laughs> Father, you must rest. Listen to me, Denim. You must save Kashua. You are the only one who can. You can lead her to her rightful destiny. Do this for us. For the... <laughs> Father! Find Moruva. He was once Archeris in our order. He can help you. Say no more, Father. You must conserve your strength. <sighs> no, it is not about you. Become a stone along the path to our salvation. You must look with clear eyes, Denim. Make the right choice. <coughs> Lead us along the true path. Make our way. Do this. Only this. You mustn't talk. You, you must rest. Denim. Forgive me. Father! There is something else you must know. Can it not wait? No. It concerns you and the Regent Branton. Uh, what? He and your father were siblings. True brothers by blood. Branton's my uncle? Then who am I? Your true name is Denim Morn. You are Bakram. <laughs> That's madness. I won't believe it. Me? Bakram? <laughs> Please, good sir. Calm. Think back. When you were quite young, you resided with Abuna Pranset in the royal city of Hain. Sybil! You lie! I wish it were so, but I speak true. As a child, you oft played on the grounds of Archiaris Maruva's villa. Stop this! Please! You spent your days in play with Maruva's four daughters there. Go on. You were closest to the girl who shared your birth year. One day, as you played by the water, this girl wandered too deep and began to drown. What? How do you know that? <sighs> but... But that was my sister who was drowning. No. No, sh she saved me. I remember. In her struggling, the girl struck her head leaving a small scar. It, it... it was... you. It was my eldest sister, Saria, who fished us out. 
How is this possible? I am the daughter of Maruva, who was once Archiaris of Falaha. I... I cannot. You can. You must, Denim. You are who you were born to be. Uh, what? Now stand, Denim. What you are, who you are, has no bearing on who you will become. Even were you born Bakram, the ideals for which you strove would be no different. Surely you did not dream of a kingdom for one people only. Remember your father's words. Yes. It's as you say. It does not matter who I am. It matters only how I live. What I achieve. Thank you, Sybil Olivia. I am pleased. You are the denim I remember. Olivia! Saria! Sistina! How I rejoice to see you again! What are you doing in Brigantes? Where is father? I know not where father is. How is that possible? You were with him. He blamed himself for your departure from the Order. His days were spent locked in his quarters, though I believe his heart wandered elsewhere. When he did leave the castle on the night the Dark Knights attacked Rhyme, he never returned. Where might he have gone? I may know. The Hagia Banamuba. It is a place of worship to Ishtar, goddess of light. Father studied there in his youth. If he has left the Order, he has slipped from his faith. He would go there to find direction. I am sure of it. You may be right. Let us pray I am. We must go to the Hagia Banamuba at once, then. Wait, where's our sister Sherry? That's right. There were four of you, weren't there? Sister. Sherry has betrayed us. She's gone to Branton. What? That cannot be! I fear it is, Olivia. After leaving the Order, Sherry surrendered herself to the Bakram. She serves as Branton's right hand now. Oh, my sister, my sister. 